if I ever bump heads with somebody, bro, I'm not the one that's just gonna come back later on, you feel me? And just, all right, so what we good and stuff like that, bro? Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I've been in the league, this is going on, this is nine years now, bro. Like a lot of this, when people nut heads and something like that, don't really too many people are gonna carry it over. Like I ain't gonna cap to you. Like just me being in the league and seeing like all the people who have done it, it's only a couple of people that I really seen that when they start that bark, yeah, they're gonna, you feel me, they're gonna bite up after, you feel me? Like you're gonna have to like meet them and, and really <laughs> see what that energy is about, you feel me? But there's a lot of them, you feel me, where it happens where you feel me, it happens in the point of the game and it stays there. Okay. You feel me? Which is cool. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You yeah, feel me? That's sure. what this we're competing, bro. We all men. We wanna prove that, you feel me, we're the best at our job and what we're doing, bro. That's what it comes with, you feel me? So that's why it's it, a lot of times I feel like some of the texts that get thrown out in it shouldn't be done. You feel me? Like it's 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 competition, bro. Like that's what it's about. Like y'all starting to water down the game a little too much. You feel me? Like even with watching some of the stuff Gibbs posting, like look at them eighties and nineties days. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people ain't playing in that era, bro. I don't care, you feel me? So a lot of people <laughs> in this game in this era not playing in that, bro. Cause you can get hit on at any time, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> There's a lot of people that ain't about to go out here, you feel me, and go up playing up and down that bar not knowing what they can get hit on, bro. Like, it's just being real, bro, you feel me? But I'm cool with that. Fine was, like, fine was $100. <laughs> yeah. Like, a, technical, a technical was $500. <laughs> second five, no, $100. Second was $500. So, of course, they're going to hit you for like, $100. I can, hit, I can hit anybody for $100. Come on. Like, you hit somebody now, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get an expansion. Check. That's, yeah, that's Like, 180 like something, depending on what your check is, bro. Like, yeah. But so that was, I think that was the whole goal. And and the, the reason I had the problem with the 80s and 90s, you're – you're trying to say we're soft when we're just adapting to the rules. Right. But we're bigger than you. We're stronger than you. Yeah. So you, you don't act like we can't take the hits right. like, like that you guys were given. Yeah. Like we, we, play, we played street basketball. We, sure. we, we grew up playing the same game just in the NBA there. We get, we get rewarded right. for yeah. like, okay, I'm going to get fouled here. I'm gonna get, so. If you take out that, we will stop. Right. If you say, all right, put hand checking back on, we adapt. You start letting the bigger guys start hitting people, people will adapt. Right? It's, it's, not, it's not saying like the people like that in our game now couldn't play back then. Like, yes, they could play, but it's just the fact of the matter is them having in that mindset mm -hmm. that like, all right, a lot of these people that you see talking trash in today's game, you might not see them talking back in that era. That's no, 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 that's, that, 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 no, that's the fact. Like, that's what I'm saying. As far as playing wise, <laughs> listen, it's a whole different far as strength and conditioning. You feel me? Guys doing moves like Steph Curry is a whole different nature of shooting the basketball. Like they can play in the game back then. That's not the issue. It's a part of the you feel me? Like I said, of being able to trash talk and play the game. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, see the trash talk because back yeah. then they hit you. Yeah, it's just you go play the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. They so, throw blows. so do you feel like guys nowadays aren't as tough, or are they just more financially conscious? Like, if, yeah, if you weren't getting fined a game check to go out there and do the same things you could do in the eighties, nineties. Honestly, I don't think it's about being either one of them, bro. I just think it's just not who they are as a basketball player, bro. That's why I say it's just about being able to talk trash and still be able to play the game. You feel me? Not a lot of people will be able to do the both. Some people will start being able to talk and get lost only in the talking. Mm -hmm. Now they don't miss. The pin down they supposed to set, mm -hmm. the the back screen they supposed to run. You feel me? Like that's I think it's just about that. You feel me? It's just like it's not in their game to talk trash and still play the game. You feel me? Some yeah. can do it, some can't. Yeah, that's a skill. It definitely that, is. That's a skill. Like definitely it, is. It, it, like <laughs> the, the drain minds of the world, the guys like that. Yeah, for they, sure. They, Sam Cassell, Gary P, and Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, right? Like it's their skill. Yeah. That's what they were. They yeah. gonna get up under your skin while they're doing, yeah. but that's they're gonna be doing what they do while you're now like yeah you want to fight them you feel me so yeah. now your whole game is thrown off. Yeah, now right? yeah, yeah. Is there yeah. any guys like that in the league today still? I know it's probably not as many as back then, but are there any of them still? You know, that get under your skin like that? Yeah, like Draymond, Joel. Uh, I'm just thinking as far as like my position. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns is one of them. Okay. Uh, wow. He can talk trash and keep playing. From my perspective, mm -hmm. I've seen him do it. Just with you feel me, him being with Minnesota, you feel me. Mm -hmm. As far as like them transitioning throughout their whole team, you feel me. Now it's a, it's other atmosphere. And the only reason why I'm saying it is because I know Pat. Mm -hmm. You feel me, me and Pat. <laughs> like so, like <laughs> yeah. he's able to. That's what Pat gonna bring out of people. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like that's how he is. You feel me? So like, yeah, that's, that's he gonna help him out a little that's bit. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You feel me? So that's why he was, it, it's able, he was able to still keep him in that yeah, game yeah, yeah, for him. You feel me? So while brother still be able to go out there and do. The, the antics and stuff he was be able to do. You feel me? And mm -hmm. Carl the Towns, I would more so say he does it more so with his play. 
you feel me, the then, drawing yeah. files, you feel me, the bumps and stuff like that, you feel me, knowing that, mm-hmm. come on, Carl, a lot of that shit ain't fouls, bro. It yeah. hit you that hard, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. But he knows, like, all right, now you frustrated with the rest of stuff like that. So that's why I probably say he do it more. Okay. But Joe, he's both. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely both, 100%.